Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining us once again. Uh, we're heading down to Strike Force Lanes, Greenfield, Indiana, our lab. Another punch and throw session, uh, another arsenal review. I am looking now at weaker hierarchy symmetrical solids. So for today, we're going to take a look at another solid, uh, hopefully it's a step down from the IQ Tour, but if history is any guide, it might actually uh, surprise a lot of people. The Roto-Grip Hustle X-Ray. Uh, you might remember the Hustle PBR from a couple of years ago actually raised a lot of eyebrows in that sure it was uh, a Hustle line ball, uh, but it actually generated a lot of reaction, it was very useful on longer oil patterns than one would think. Um, a ball that I gave to a friend of mine um, after I had some success with, uh, after it had been discontinued, and I kind of wish I hadn't. <laughs> so we're going to take a look and see. Will the X-Ray uh, take that spot of the PBR as that kind of surprise value ball? Uh, will it get a spot in my bag below the IQ Tour, or will it even be up there uh, as a step down from, say, to phase two? We'll find out. Welcome back to Strike Force Lanes, Greenfield, Indiana. Hey, Patrick Dombrowski, I've shouted you out on this channel before. I know you love your hashtag entry level staff. Congratulations on your second place finish at the Masters. So we're gonna be looking at symmetrical solids. Uh, I'm gonna be throwing the IQ again, which was in my last ball review, um, because this is kind of a good comparison, but this one is going to be the Hustle X-Ray. This is a black and silver version of the various solid hustles. Uh, a couple of years ago, you might remember a hustle PDR. So I don't have anything lower than an IQ numbers wise. The hustle would fit that spot, um, but let's take a look. First, uh, since I'm talking hustles, it makes sense. I'm gonna start with the hustle rip. This is a shiny hybrid version of the hustle. So into the track as we tend to do. Get stuck on a thumb. That's a funny leave. Three and two. It's the same beat up uh, version of a house shot during Easter week as uh, my review of the road. And what you'll see, this is where the hustle line can be very, very useful. Um, if you watch my review of the road, you saw my IQ and then my exponent really kind of burn up up front and then layoff down lane. This is a weaker cover and a hybrid formula versus a solid. So what's good about this is that it'll get through that spot and give me more move, motion down lane when it's all been pushed down and beat up and dried up. That was a pretty good shot. So here's the hustle rip again, another three and two. All right, last shot, another three and two. Oh, okay. I guess I can throw it faster now. So IQ solid, was a light 500 apply to it league this week. So this is going to, I already know this from the last video, kind of burn up and fade a little bit. Still be usable though. You can kind of see it hooking a lot earlier and then what we would call slower down lane versus the hustle, which was getting through it a little bit more and then being more dramatic or as we would say, quicker down lane. Three and two. Got that quick. Got that to the dry a little too quick. I think a hustle there on that shot would have gone potentially Jersey or Brooklyn if you're not from Brooklyn like I am. All right, three and two. Right, I have to see on video, but I counted four distinct motions on that ball, which 500 grit solid on beat up lanes where the fronts are all chewed up and the lanes are pushed. Makes sense. Three and two again. Same idea, about three or four different motions. Very mellow, I think another three and two. Slow down, try to loop it a little, see what it wants to do. Fell off of that a little, and yeah, okay. 
Not that it was a great shot, but this would be a good use case for balling down. All right, so the Hustle X-Ray, solid hustle, uh, basically remake of the PDR, but in the track as usual. Here at Top Score Bowling, we have top-notch coaching. Speaking of Top Score Bowling, shout out Zach Weidman, top 10 finish of the Masters this year. Should have beaten EJ Tackett, that scrub. All right, three and two. One more. Boom. All right, so right off the bat, a little more angular down lane than in the uh, IQ, which I would have expected. Slightly weaker cover, slightly weaker core. Um, but definitely a lot of bang for the buck so far. Tell you, if you like the PBR, you're going to like this. I see a lot of similarities between the two. Well, that's that same spot earlier where that IQ was hooking four or five times. But this one actually continues. So let's keep on chasing it left. So far, it's exactly what I thought it would be. I mean, this is a solid hustle. It is a lot of ball for what it is. I'm impressed so far. I think the biggest problem I have with this ball so far is Patrick Dombrowski is going to end up making a lot of money with it at my expense once again. So let's chase a little further. That's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. I definitely see a use case for this ball. I think he can be sneaky good on some longer stuff as they break down. Uh, maybe a lower volume or high friction surface, longer pattern. But here we are in a beat up house shot and it's still looking pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna try to soften that grip just a little bit more. Try to get the break point in a little bit away from the dry. I'm going to go a little further left, see if I can get a little lofty with this. I like that ball. All right, that'll do it for our review of the Hustle X-Ray. It's pretty much what you would expect. It looks like a straight replacement for the uh, Hustle PBR. Uh, a couple of years ago, that was a, one of the big value balls out at the time. And I think this will be very similar. Uh, if anything, maybe a touch more forward than the PBR, but it is a lot of bang for your buck. I think it is uh, like a stronger, more continuous uh, IQ. Um, I think you'll find it very useful for longer patterns on light friction surfaces later in the day. Uh, could be a good control ball um, on shorter volumes. Kind of saw what it was today on um, the beat up version of the house shot. Uh, and I think uh, it'll be definitely in my bag as that lower end option right above my rib. Uh, so my updated bag on that end, between the IQ Tour and the Exponent for me, I think it'll be a ball down from the Exponent, but maybe a step up from the IQ Tour. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. If you have any questions about this or any of the other balls we reviewed, make sure to leave a comment with the question. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, coming up soon, we'll have reviews, uh, a little catch up, I guess, of the Optimum Idol. Uh, certainly a very popular ball right now. The Attention Star, uh, honestly, really surprising release that I like. Uh, and a couple of other our latest SPI releases. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.